Dr. Huebner here, Natural Transplants. I'm here with one of our superstars, Tanya. Mm -hmm. So you may remember Tanya as we documented her surgery day, um, not even four months ago. So it's been about three months and about three weeks. So in one week, we'll be at, at the four month mark. And we have a lot of interest in Tanya because we have a, a lot of people that have traction alopecia, especially women. And there's not a lot of resources out there for them to see what the process is like. And so this is really exciting. So when she came in today, I wasn't expecting anything. I was expecting her to have maybe like three or four hairs and it's just starting to come out. And when she took her headband off today, I was blown away. So she's at only three, three months, three weeks, and already you can tell she has growth. She has a new hairline. Uh, and this is only going to improve every month. So I appreciate you guys coming all the way down here for the follow-up. Um, how do you feel? Like, how's everything going for you? It's going, it's going really smooth. Um, I, like you said, I was expecting um, minimum hair growth. Um, you and Josh prepared me on like the first four months, first four to six months. It might not be that much, but it, mm -hmm. my hair just it started growing, mm -hmm. and just it just it keeps growing. I don't put anything on it, but regular oils and I don't good. do like a man inherit hands or anything uh -huh. like that. So it's, it's doing good. How was the recovery process? I mean obviously you had a lot of scabs initially and oh, okay so the first two weeks um it scabs up but it's not like a scab scab it's like a almost like you have a bump mm -hmm. I guess you can say and it's kind of a little rough bump and then um Josh told me like after two weeks to kind of like make it come off, mm -hmm. you know, because it doesn't just fall off. Some of them will, but some of them yeah. stay. So, mm -hmm. um, and then that that was fine. And then um, the the first month, I guess I wore wigs and different mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then once I start feeling the smoothness back in, mm -hmm. I start back wearing. Like, I all started wearing headbands and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, as you can see, I can wear my hair any kind of way. I can put a headband mm -hmm. on it, mm -hmm. and it's good to go. People don't even know what's yeah. under there. They don't yeah. realize it because my hair is so thick. So, yeah, you know, and you've been doing all this stuff before that anyway. So yeah. it's not like a stretch to wear a headband or a wig. This stuff you were doing anyway. Right. And so it's an easy transition to right. get back to normal life. And then when she feels more comfortable with the density and the length, she won't you have wear, to wear that yeah, stuff anymore. I'll say right? in another four months how my hair is growing. I bet it's going to be less than that time. Yeah. Before you, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see. Everyone's different. Um, but come in here a little closer, Jerry. I'm going to show, because we have people interested. Okay. So um, this is where her hair was before. And so this is all new. This is all new transplants. So we went all the way down. We recreated her hairline here. So you can see the density. And again, at, at this stage, we wouldn't expect, I'm, this is what, she's mm -hmm. way ahead of, of schedule, so but you can see how that really is going to change her appearance in a better, in a yeah. positive way. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to turn you around here, Tanya, just okay. so we can see the back. And it took me, honestly, about five, ten minutes to find the incision, because mm -hmm. you got a ha long hair, but it's not just because there's long hair, it's because it's hard to find. And her husband mm -hmm. is, is here and says, uh, and he's a hairdresser, he owns a salon. Well, they both don't slide, but uh, he said that it's never been an issue. It's really even hard to find for him. And um, but here's just you can kind of see where the incision is. It's that little line. And unless she decides to shave her head, <laughs> <laughs> which uh, you know, if that ever comes down to that, let me call me first. No. What, yeah. How won't be shaving? What's the point, right? You're shaving her head, but that's never been an issue for her. She's going to be able to, you know. Yeah. No one's going to know this. Thing. Yeah, and I thought that with the suture line that it'll be thin in the back, mm -hmm. but I can wear my hair down and you can't even tell no at all. Yeah. No. Makes no difference. So the suture lines, again, are never an issue for our patients. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't be happier, Tanya. Congratulations. Thanks. Can, can we see? Yeah, please put him on this. Okay. Yeah. So Tanya, this is Tanya's husband. Remember him from the video as well? <laughs> 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 and he was nice enough to drive four hours from Jacksonville. Uh, both of you all, thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, really looking forward to her results. And uh, I can't wait to see what she looks like even a month from now. Mm. Uh, but certainly her final result, um, I think she's going to be thrilled. And, and this is really a nice resource. Thanks again, because a lot of women, uh, are, especially women with traction alopecia, just have no resources. Uh, to see what the process is like and to see results and thank right. you so much for, for doing that. You're You're a lot of people. And you guys call me all the time. You they give permission and I talk to you so don't don't be afraid to call me and ask questions because I'm happy to answer. Thank you so much. You will. Thanks again.